I'm going to begin by importing sounds into my system. For that, we go to Disk Operations. Then I created a file on my desktop. Um, here are some saved projects I'm working on. But um, what I do is I create a file, then I remember where that is. For this, it's in OneDrive, then Documents, then Samples. However, at the moment, you can't see anything. That's because of the settings over here in this, these two boxes. What you want to do is switch to sample, and then it switches to wave. Um, you have to import wave files. It doesn't take anything else, as far as I'm aware. So you have your list of samples here. Um, once you click them, if they are in stereo, you are going to want to convert it to mono. They jump over here. So what you want to do is name this. Then once you have that, you can start playing it on your keyboard. So if you want to import a new sound, you're going to want to click down. And you can name it now, so I can name it kick drum. And when I'm at it, I'm just going to add a few more. You're going to want to right click it and then do the name. So once you have these here, you can see it becomes empty in this bottom box. If you haven't selected one of these yet. So I selected a chord, so um, I can change this at any time. Um, so now I'm going to select a kick drum. I move down to kick drum, then I find the kick that I want. So once you select one, you can play it on your keyboard, see how it sounds. Move down to hi-hat and choose the hi-hat. And if you see, we do have more, more sections here. So you always can add more instruments. However, I'm going to get into that in a different tutorial. Um, for the basic setup, you just need it in the zero zero column. So to get out of this, what you want to do is sit disk op again, and it goes back to your basic, um, just basic screen. <laughs> 